Hello and welcome back to Kentucky Home Garage. Uh, today I'm going to talk about fuses. Uh, fuses are basically uh, used, to, used to protect our circuits. Uh, if you have a short ground, um, the fuse is going to blow and it's going gonna, it's gonna to open and uh, it's going to stop the current flow and it's going to protect our wiring. Uh, also it's used if you have a uh, component that draws too much current um, it will also uh, protect our circuit from melting basically and uh, it will blow and it's going to open up the circuit again and uh, I mean it's pretty simple and there are different uh, different grades from uh, from 5 amps all the way up to 40 or 50 amps this one is for the 40 uh, but um, I just want to uh, emphasize a couple things when we when we check the uh, fuses and using different tools to uh, check it exactly what our tools are telling us and do we really understand fully what do we testing and how we testing the fuses so there are basically uh, uh, two um, methods of uh, testing the fuses are with a test light and uh, with our ohm meter um, so um, so either way uh, it's it's a valuable test but we just have to understand I want to I want to talk about you know what? Uh, what are we actually testing? So um, the first one I'm gonna I'm gonna use it's an ohmmeter, and um, I've seen some videos on YouTube where people explain uh, how to use this, and it's it's I mean they are all good, but there's one exception that I want to talk about. When we're using the ohmmeter, basically we are measuring a uh, um, we are, we are testing the fuse itself to make sure the fuse is not it's not blowing it's not open. So what we do we turn our dial to uh, audible or and uh, we're gonna test uh, we're gonna connect our leads to uh, our fuse. Okay, so basically we take our leads doesn't matter which one we take and we just touch the fuse on both sides. And now we can see we don't we don't even have no resistance at all. Sometimes you have one like zero zero ohm, zero ohms of resistance, and we, you can hear the audible sound. So uh, uh, this tells us that this fuse is not it's not blown. However, this is a mistake that I used to make. This doesn't tell me if this fuse is getting power. Okay, so please guys be 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 mindful of it because just because this fuse is intact, it's not blowing. It doesn't mean it's getting the power from the fuse box. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just check this fuse number twelve, <clears throat> and any fuse for that matter. Just uh, I can see I have a. Let me see again. Okay, so I'm having a uh, good fuse. So when I'm testing my Electrical circuit, and I'm see this. Okay, well, it's fine. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna look for a problem elsewhere. But not so fast because when I take my test light, in order to uh, test the fuse with a test light, we basically connect the test light to, part, to a negative to ground, and I have this uh, cable connected to my uh, to my battery. So uh, the first rookie mistake that I was making as I was testing the fuse is I would only touch one side of the fuse. And if that lights up, I will be done. Well, that's what I used to make. I didn't understand what I was doing in the first place. So, but the, the, rule number one: when you're testing the fuse, you have to check both ends of the fuse, okay? Because if this side of the fuse is getting power from the fuse box, and you touch it, and your your light lights up, you think you're okay. But then you have to check another side and make sure that the fuse is not it's not blowing. So, um, and if you if you see the if you if you're uh, uh, test light lights up again, then you you okay. You have a power. Your your test your 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 uh, fuse is is good. So uh, so I picked this uh, fuse number twelve, and uh, for the reason, and I'm 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 gonna check to see if I have a power. Now I checked it with my ohm meter, and it's my fuse is okay. So I'm t touching it, and I I, don't, I see nothing. See, it's not. I see it's not lighting up. Okay. Well. When we're testing the fuses with this method, we have to make sure to turn the key on, okay? Because not every fuse is uh, uh, power all the time. Some some fuses are powered 
uh, during the running or cranking condition. Uh, so let's to turn the key on and uh, I'm going to touch my, my, fu my fuse again and uh, I got nothing. Okay, so uh, you guys can see I got no power to it. Well, this fuse actually feeds my, uh, gives the power to my uh, headlight. And now when I turn my key, my, my, my switch, my, my headlights, they're, they're working. Now how is it possible that, let me see guys, if you can see my, uh, see that, there you go. I took my light bulb off so you guys can see it. Now how is it possible that uh, I have a, I have a good fuse, and when I test it with my, with my headlight, with, I'm sorry, test with my, with my test light, my test doesn't light, but when I turn the switch on, my, my lights are working. Well, let's, uh, let's check, let's make sure that this, uh, test light is, is, is functioning. So uh, I'm going to touch this fuse and you can see it's, it's lighting up. So it's not my test light is working, it's fine. But again, if I touch my fuse number 12, I, I got nothing. Well, uh, this, this is another variable that can happen and this is just the circuit design. Uh, and the way this circuit is designed is that this is the wiring diagram that I, it's not a clear one, but basically what we see here is a switch that gets the power from fuse number 8, I believe. Now this switch is, once I turn the switch to on position, it's going to actually give the power to my fuse. And then from the fuse, it's going to give the power to my, to my light bulb. So that's the variable that we can see, you know, during the testing, you know, how come now we don't have a, we don't have a power on our, on our fuse and now when we turn the component on, component is working. So let's uh, let's check actually now when we turn the when we turn the uh, switch to on position. Now you can see my our test light lights. Okay, so I can test the other side, and uh, we can see my, my my light is lighting, but now my test light is is, is lighting as well. So um, this is uh, what kind of uh, it sometimes can cause some kind of confusion, you know, to see you know what what the deal is. Now. One thing that I also, when, uh, other tool that I use, it's, it's, it's a power probe, and this is a very nice tool. Just by touching the uh, component, is going to tell you if you have a power and ground. Basically, the red light's going to be power, the green light's going to be the ground. And uh, like this is, the, this is my power here, and you can see it gives me the red, so the red uh, light, and it gives me the, the audible signal as well. And this other side is going to be the ground. So uh, this is a very nice tool, but when I start testing my fuses with this with this um, um, with this tool, and for instance, I'm going to touch the same fuse number twelve, and uh, now I have a ground, and this is something I didn't understand. I said, "How come that we are on the fuse box and my fuse is is." reading ground instead of power. Well, that's because, that, that's because we, our circuit design is the, uh, again, as we, as we look at the circuit, uh, as we look at our wiring diagram, at the time when a switch is off, okay, we don't have a current flow through our circuit, so we're just going to have a ground through our light bulb. <coughs> Sorry. And, uh, and that's actually what we want to see. Just today, I was working on the Chevy truck, and I'm, I'm, I, I feel so bad I didn't film it. And uh, it was a no start; did not have a um, didn't have a, a fuel pressure. And um, when we checked, uh, it was a similar dis circuit design as this. Basically, we, we had a uh, I had the relay that was giving the power to a fuse, and a fuse was giving the power to a um, uh, fuel pump. And uh, when I checked uh, with my, with my uh, uh, power probe, I touched my fuse. I was supposed to, because at the time that the key was off, I should have a ground all the time coming from the fuel pump, and I touched my fuse, I had nothing. And right away I knew that I, that I had some kind of open uh, between my fuse box and, uh, and uh, my fuel pump, or issue with the ground side of the circuit. Maybe I didn't have a good ground going to the, to the fuel pump. Um, long story short, end up actually being a bad uh, connector on, at, at the fuel pump. This is a really, that was a really good case study, but I'm, I, I did not have a chance 
sorry to film it because um, the owner was in a hurry, so I didn't have a chance to do that. But this is what I want to just emphasize as you as you're testing the fuses. Please make sure if you do if you use this uh, ohmmeter to check resistance, basically check continuity on your on your um, um, on your fuse. Please uh, please understand that test does not tell you that you are getting the power to your fuse. It only tells you that you have a uh, in, that your fuse is not blown. So um, now and also with our uh, with our test light as well, we need to be kind of care we need to have to be careful because even when we turn the key on, as in this in this case, I'm touching my touching my fuse and uh, still don't, don't don't have a power to it. And I would assume that I'm having some kind of maybe issue with my fuse box or something. But it's just circuit design that something else is going to turn on first, close the circuit first before it gives the power to 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 the to our fuse. Um, so and, and also other. Uh, uh, way of uh, testing the fuses is, is with a voltmeter. Now instead of checking the um, uh, resistance on our fuse, uh, we can actually check the voltage. And uh, simply by, uh, I'm just going to connect my negative to um, the ground, the negative uh, um, lead to ground, like this, and now I'm going to and I put my uh, voltmeter to uh, DC volts and uh, I'm just gonna get one of the fuses that has the power so it should be just 15 there you go, you guys can see I'm having the uh, not having the power, now if we, if we decide to use this this method it will be pretty much the same as a, as a, as a, um, a test light we have to touch both sides of our fuse and make sure that we have the same voltage on both. And you can see that we got a, we, we do. Um, long time, a couple months, a uh, long time ago, actually, I had a car that was um, that had a um, one of the headlights was dim. Uh, I, I don't remember if it was a passenger or on the uh, um, driver's side. And I went down when I when I pulled my um, when I checked the voltage at my um, at my light bulb, I I could I could recognize that I am in an issue with uh, on the on the on the power side. I was getting only six volts, and believe it or not, I had a fuse that has excessive vo uh, voltage drop, has excessive resistance, and I would read 12 volts on one side and a six volts on another. Uh, that that was uh, I guess one of those Harbor Freight uh, uh, fuses. I've heard of them and I've never seen them, but I did at that time and it was, uh, I wish I saved that fuse, that would be a good uh, example. But, um, uh, and that, uh, that test, probably, I'm not sure if it would be... Now, there's one more variable with this tool also, uh, as we, as we checking the, uh, uh, fuses and, and, uh, let, let me show you this. We want to see Basically, zero volt, zero uh, uh, ohms of resistance uh, on our on our fuse. Okay. Now, if we ended up, let me show you this. This is another variable that can kind of throw us off a little bit. Now I'm at again at fuse 12, and uh, and I have a uh, zero ohms. Now when I turn my uh, headlights on, okay, now we can see that I have a 96 or 100 ohms of resistance. Okay, now why is that? Now why is it now? It's because we have a current flow going through our, through our um, uh, fuse. So when we testing the, um, when we testing our fuses with a ohmmeter, to make sure the key is out, you basically don't want any current flow through through any fuses because they can actually throw you off. You can think that your fuses have excessive resistance. Now you can clearly see that you were reading a hundred ohms of resistance. Ah, sorry about that. So that's another variable with this type of a test. We want to make sure that we don't have a, any kind of current flow going through our, through our uh, uh, circuit. I 
Okay, 96 some of, of resistance. And you, we, we, do, we don't hear an audible sound anymore, okay, because it's too much resistance. So that's another variable when we're using the uh, ohmmeter as, as, as a tool to uh, uh, check our, our fuses. So make sure that we do not have a key on in, in on position because, uh, you know, when we turn the key on, some component is going to be activated, some module is going to start drawing the current, and uh, that's going to reflect on your, on your uh, ohmmeter because uh, ohmmeter, what it's doing is basically sending a little bit of voltage across the fuse and it reads the voltage drop and that's how it measures resistance. Now if you already have a, a current going through there, it gets confused. It cannot, it cannot measure the resistance anymore. So it's, um, now you're going to have an excessive reading of, of excessive resistance thinking that you might have a bad fuse but actually have a current flow going through there. So uh, those are variables that I want to talk about. Um, so all these tests are valuable. They they are they are great. Uh, you just have to uh, you just just have to understand you know what what are you measuring and uh, what are, uh, what the um, what could throw you off as you as you try to uh, um, you know as you try to diagnose your your problem in in your circuit in electrical circuit. So, um, okay guys, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, I hope this was informative. I hope this made sense. I, uh, um, I'm, I'm, sometimes I talk too much. I always talk too much. But, uh, um, uh, but I, I, I believe this is a good, a, uh, good information for some of you guys. I, honestly, I was the first one who was making all these mistakes because I did not understand what the tool is telling me. You know, what, I, what am I reading? Uh, what are all, all the old measurements actually mean? mean. So... Um, Okay guys, uh, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you next time.